public is not healthy. But that's why we must use reason and, <gasps> dare I say, common sense. With all the rioting and looting, let's take a look at the positive, the absurd, and the downright silly, because if we don't laugh, we'll cry, justifiably. I'm Katie Petrick, and this is Healthy Republic. For all of you who know a little bit of history, you may know that once upon a time, a man named Benjamin Franklin told a woman that the founders created a republic, if they can keep it. This year, 2020, is proving that we are not seeing 2020. When we look back at it, we're all gonna be just shaking our heads, which is smarter than shaking a Molotov cocktail and hurling it soy boy-like into a small business's window or at a cop car. This woman is a New York City lawyer and apparently is vying to be the next spokesperson for Bud Light. Now, I'm not a beer drinker, so I'll stay out of the good versus bad beer. You can debate that in the comments section. The issue at hand involving the riots and protests across the country is a serious issue. You've seen it. We've all seen it. I could go on for hours of examples of horror and sadness, but I'm going to press the release valve on the pressure cooker and point out the absurdity because there is plenty of it. And we need to look at the entire picture. And we begin with some positive. We can all rejoice that the coronavirus must be done, gone, over and out because social distancing isn't a thing anymore, as you can clearly see by these examples. So there's that. And Alyssa Milano has to be relieved because now her crocheted mask could actually be put to good use. Lord knows a crocheted mask was not protecting her from getting the Rona as much as she may want it to. Hashtag believe all masks. And since we're talking about the celebrities lacking brain cells because they've been replaced with talking points from the leftist narrative, actors are showing their bona fides to the cause by announcing they are donating to bail out the rioters from jail. Chrissy Teigen, Justin Timberlake, Patton Oswalt, Seth Rogen, Janelle Monet, and Steve Carell, to name just a handful, are virtue signaling with their pocketbooks. I get why Steve Carell is doing it. He knows firsthand the struggles of being in jail. The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they come down and they suck the soul out of your body and it hurt. Dem Dementors like in Harry Potter? No, not Harry Potter. Yes, Harry Potter. Now, before we go further, I'm gonna make it very easy for people to remember a very important distinction. Listen closely. Protesting is peaceful. Rioting is reckless. Looting is lawless. The more you know. Protesting is part of our First Amendment rights. The one that says you can assemble, and people have every right to do that, as they should for worship and for speech. But the absurdity of looting and rioting that has been happening is not right. Rioting is not a right, and it's not in the name of George Floyd. Just listen to George's brother. He was about peace, he was about unity, but the things that's transpiring now, yeah, yeah, they, they, they may call it unity, but it's, to, it's destructive unity. It's not, it's not what he was about. That's not what my brother was about. You know, he, he, would, he would motivate you to channel, if you're angry, it's okay to be angry, but channel your anger to do something positive or make a change another way. In other words, don't target a target. You are not fighting injustice by stealing a 4K TV or some pots and pans from aisle 36. Also, why oh why are you stealing a cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory? Do you know how many calories are in that? At least this guy was honest as to why the looting is happening and what led to his arrest. Uh, man, period, point blank, just like all my real ones trying to do, trying to get some money. Explanation, that's it. I'm trying to get some dough, that's it. Just out here for the money? Yeah, pretty much. Anything to do with the protests, what happened in Minnesota? I mean, a little bit to do with that too, you feel me? But not really, I'm out here for the dub. Was it worth it? Obviously not, I'm out here hemmed up. Yeah, y'all see it? Man, if y'all gonna get some money, do it right. Don't do it the dumb way, do it the smart way. Just a hop, skip, and a loot away, there is more chaos on Rodeo Drive. I thought this one didn't need to be said, but I guess I need to remind people that cannibalism is frowned upon. Attempting to eat the rich on Rodeo Drive would be... Big mistake. Big. Huge. I have to go shopping now. 
And to clarify, shopping is not the same as breaking windows and looting the store like this. Looting now underway in Beverly Hills. Mayhem in Beverly Hills as looters storm the luxury clothing store Alexander McQueen and make off with thousands of dollars worth of goods. In upscale Santa Monica, devastating destruction as looters attack business after business. Hey guys, you see this? Finally, what the bleep show is this? Hey, it's real! <laughs> I stole it for the police! <laughs> wow, he stole a horse. Now, the internet said that supposedly this man may actually own that horse. Either way, is he fighting the power? Yay or nay? This insanity is happening all over the country, and you've seen it over and over. There are those calling for the riots to stop, and one of the most powerful messages is from Atlanta rapper and activist Killer Mike, who condemned the heinous actions that it is your duty not to burn your own house down for anger with an enemy. It is your duty to fortify your own house so that you may be a house of refuge in times of organization. And now is the time to plot, plan, strategize, organize. So my question for us on the other side of this camera is after it burns, Will we be left with charred or will we rise like a phoenix out of the ashes that Atlanta has always done? I've watched the entire video and it's worth a listen. The truth is 99.9% .9 of us agree that what happened to George Floyd was abhorrent and the cops should be in jail. And he is. A lawful country will carry on lawfully, but the state of our country is seriously ill. If we are to remain a republic and a country, living peacefully beside one another, we need to remember that we are united, not divided. We have differences, and that's a good thing, as long as we continue to live by the golden rule. Continue to treat each other, all lives, like you want to be treated. It's that simple. And don't loot. Until next time, stay healthy, America.